Welcome back. Here we go. Wasteland 3. Back at it again. We made Flav happy. Let's go out there and see help. what else the wastes hold for us. Hello, Charlie? We read you, Charlie. Glad I got a hold of you, Red Hat friends. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. Ooh. How does that sound? Over! <laughs> fortunes sound great, but could you please stop yelling? Ha-ha! I mean, ha-ha! I knew you'd be up for this. I forget. Charlie knows you visited the bazaar. You know and it. You know how oh, that's important right. it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Good old Charlie knows. We met him at Vegas. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But sooner or later, someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And mm. you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Why would you want to work with us after what happened in Little Vegas? Well, since Mr. brigo has gone, Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking, who does Charlie know who's efficient? can handle themselves in a fight. Eh? Eh? You help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business, Red Hats. It's simple economics. Hmm. Why would we trust you? Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? I Didn't I tell remember. you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hats, it's me, <laughs> your old buddy, Charlie. Pushing a little hard there. What does well compensated mean? Don't worry. Your old buddy, Charlie, won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance, and you'll be paid handsomely. Hmm. Let's do it or not gonna happen. I gotta make a decision now? I can't make a decision on this. Uh... I'm leaning towards doing it. I knew you'd say that. All right, we have a hideout not far from the bizarre entrance, near the old parking lot. Okay. We'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. Wow. Monster Army Bunker, here I come. Let's go find some films. We can make chick flicks happy. And then we can still consider then, do we take over the bazaar after that? Oh. Here we are, the Monster Army Bunker. Can't drive in, apparently. Okay, we can hack. <laughs> Got worried there for a second. Beautiful. You ready for this big reveal? I am. What is going to be going on in this place? Oh my. Still darkness. There we go. Okay. Oh, it is in fact a bunker. How about that? <laughs> oh, I see a Saul pup. A couple of Saul pups. Oh no. Three of them. A laser turret. You got the sniper. 80. 79 for some reason. They're all pretty much 80. Take down the close one. Here we go. Combat started. You're also at 84%. Let's do it. Good shots, Chris. We got we got plating, we got hydraulics, we got the CPU. Chance to attack allies. Well, we blew it up anyway. <laughs> We're out of range. 
bitch, who are you? You're Chris, 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 with the pistol. Can you run at anybody? No. Three salt pups, two laser turrets. Put you here, and then put you on ambush. Now we're talking. That is thinking, Phil, you're thinking. What does it feel like? You don't do it too often. Yeah, you can get all the way up there and still take a shot? Let's do it. Mechanics level 5. Like I feel... Oh, maybe those don't control the turrets. Great shot! higher there, but then you can't take the shot this turn. So let's do that. We'll just be on the other side of cover. And we'll take another shot against Hydro... No, not Hydro. CPU. Is it real confused? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, oh, and then I can take another shot still. Okay. Be crazy not to. Move you up the one. Nothing in range. Okay. So. What's that? That's half cover. No other full cover, it looks like. Well. Hmm. Since we're gonna do that, let's just go here. And wait. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Good misses. Alright. Ooh. What a shot. Chris, Chris, Chris. This is a better weapon, isn't it? What's the pen mean? Pen oh, penetration level. Oh, this pulse gun can cut through everything. But it also uses what kind of ammo? Energy cells. Do I want to be using what energy cells? Let's not right now. <laughs> Stuff's real expensive. I know what you would think, like. Let's do the best to protect everybody. <clears throat> Gotta protect our wallet too. Sorry. Full cover now. Even better. Great shots. Great shots, Chris. Doc. 29%. 5%. 95. Let's do it. Oh. Good shooting, Doc. Thank you. <laughs> Take it out. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, who are you? The Provost? <laughs> we ran into you in the bazaar. Why are you doing here? Wait, what? Oh no, I don't still have a shot. Go back into this cover. 95. Let's do it. Great job, Lucia. Another good one. Seriously, you are the best. Wait, what did I get? Some lucky... Uh... Refill there? 40 to 48 on all of them. Boom! Alright, need to cover. Enemies? The saw pup hit hard. And took. Ooh, didn't take it. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, right. Their cover's gone. <laughs> I guess I could have seen that coming. Out of ammo. Yeah, sure. We'll just reload then. No, no. Butterfly. You go. Take this out. No! I used the wrong one. Here we go. Let's not talk about it. 88% to finish you off. 95%! Come on. That was real good. That was real good. Good job, Marshall. Um... That's it for you right now. We do have Doc. Let's heal yourself first. And then let's... Do I still have enough to heal Butterfly? Wait, what? You're full health. Overheal. What? How? What? I don't... Let's take the shot, Lucia. Finish it. Nice. <laughs> I have no idea how they ended up healed. No clue. We just got this one turret now, right? Guess we'll go up to full cover. You're gonna take some shots here, Chris. Sorry. Ooh. No, they went for the more obvious choice down there. Interesting. Okay, Chris. Help out here. Great shot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Doc. Can you hit that? No. Still don't know how Butterfly ended up with that. <laughs> Lucia. Out of ammo. Hmm. You don't have the shot anyway. Alright, yeah, let's do the reload. And then... Should be able to grab you one of these stimmies. Equip that. And use it. Alright. Easy peasy. What can you do? That's out of range. Let's move you over here. There we go. With only one spot left, or one enemy left. Don't need to be worrying about all that. Let's see. Uh, you can also. I mean, half cover is half cover. Not the greatest. We'll just hang out. Enemy turn? Nope, not yet. Butterfly. Out of range. I can get all the way over there, but I can't attack on that turn. Um, we'll just go ambush. Even though nothing's moving. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Misses, great. More misses. All right. Let's finish this thing. Reload. Nicely done. You're right. The outcome was never in doubt. We got this. So let's do the toaster repair. Who's got it? Thank you, Chris. Sensuous toaster. Crusted with evidence of enthusiastic usage. This looks like an old time sex manual. Except that all the illustrations are explicit drawings of toasters. Cool. Very interesting. Doesn't only seem to be one that's doing anything though. You ready, uh, Doc? We're doing this. And go. Whoops, 31%. Oh, 
weird. I didn't. I wasn't counting on the fact that it would keep moving. I didn't even thought about it. That was a seventy percent chance. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Don't just shoot the wall. <laughs> You've already taken your turn, right? Go do it. Boom! Nicely done. You can move some, but not a whole lot. Good shot, Marshall. That's what I like to see. We go this side. So those two are over there. If we take this one out. Okay. Oh! Here. That was her name correctly. <laughs> they are, in fact, bomb hoppers. Let's hit this. Ooh, okay. Looks like there's a bunch more, though. Provost, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Act without saying anything or whatever, you creep. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be more battle now. Oh, yes. Big ol' saw dog. But it looks like that's it in this room. That computer 5. We should be able to do that, I think. It's not with this guy. Alright, the rest of you. Can we get you by here safely? Just don't spread out. Don't spread out. There you go. Nice clump. Nice clump of ya. What do we got? We got the marshal. No, we want Doc to start this. Yeah, you could take off a good chunk, can't you? Yes, you can. Unless you miss a bunch. <laughs> Full cover. Full cover. Still get a shot? Out of range. Should you heal yourself? Sure. Good. Then we'll... Oh, right, okay. Doc, you're in a kind of a tough position. Butterfly, do I just run you in there? Out of range. Six AP to get there. And then how much to attack? Four. Hmm. That computer, that computer, we got doors, here are lasers, so we did take down two of the four, that's good. I don't know what to do with you, butterfly. Give him a target to attack? <laughs> Marshall, get you down here. Take a precision strike. What do we got? We got plating. Let's reduce the target's armor. Shocked on the target. That could be good. Has no allies. Hmm. Let's go for the blades or the hydraulics? Let's go for the hydraulics. Nice. Slowed, and that was a ton of damage. That's wonderful. This thing shouldn't actually be too hard, huh? Let's see what it does, though. Could get nasty. What happened? Great. Let's just take shots.
take this mofo down. Almost. Her plunk. Wait. Oh, I thought that they went down too. And a loot. A control chip? <laughs> That's it? Another one. What does it get us down here? A container? You think it's worth it? <laughs> Doc. Come here. You sneak by also. Heal you again. Sorry, butterfly. I know you're taking a beating. But we have a container <laughs> to get to. Hey, not too bad. Look, I know what you're thinking. It's a fucking time store mask. A kid's toy. Am I right? Here's the thing. It ain't about the fake fur or the rubber teeth. It's what's behind the mask that scares the shit out of people. You put that mask on and you're invisible. You can do anything. And I mean anything. When they look at you, they may not see the monster at first, but they will. It's just a matter of time. Now Jeez. put that fucking thing on and don't scare the shit out of some people. Well then. Alright, this is it. This is the big finale of this zone, I Aerith, I think. What we got in here? A big old shock dog, a drill dog, a couple of them. Is it? Three big creatures? The shockers are, is gonna be the worst one, right? Probably. Ooh, that's interesting. It doesn't do much damage to these things, huh? Really? They all explosive? I don't quite have that. Yeah, I think you're gonna take the most. Let's do it. Good start. This actually does seem real nice. Okay. Do that. Take the shot. I got a lucky action. Reduces the target hit chance. I mean, go chance to go berserk. That's got it. Oh, damage circuit. I think we did it. What about you? Can we try on you too? Attack allies? Didn't get it. <laughs> That's okay though. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Doc. All right. You, you took your shot. Butterfly. Be honest, I don't know what if I want to. Wait, what? Out of range. It's out of range for you to heal yourself? What are you doing there? Why do you keep showing me this? What? It just straight up decided that that's where I was gonna go? <laughs> that's so weird. Okay. Come on. 78%, dude! Can't even get the cover. Get you up here. Nisha, you do good. You do good works. Alright, come on, attack your allies. Alright, first we're getting drilled by you. Let's hope you can't do too many. Yes! Yes! Shock dog. Um, this is probably a good time for the pulse gun, huh? Alright. Some damage. We'll take it. <laughs> You're gonna take this thing down with a pistol. Yo, what up, Bub? How's it going? I 
I need to find out what this does. Nuclear strike. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. Still looks like it's gonna do like no damage. Let's try it anyway. Immune. Okay. Hit it. Good shot. Gotcha. More about new uh, hires and such. Or is it just a regular beating? 79, 79. Let's just keep going like that. Ooh, great shot. Marshall is so good at that. Always more BS to be had. Drill dog, let's get the CPU. Maybe you will also start attacking allies. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, good one, Shock Dog. Finish it. Move. So we'll just keep taking shots on this one then. Wait, is that the right idea? No, I should probably be damaging you more. Because you're gonna take them out, so we need to take you out. Mal target. Because it's on my side right now? Alright. Well, now it's a valid target, right? Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> oh, boy. We should probably see if we can heal you. You do not have a thing to heal. Melee damage, but then lose EP for a while. I mean, honestly, that doesn't sound so bad. Throw a Molotov. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Equip that. That is such a nice, tasty treat right there. Pork bun. Mm -mm -mm. Inbound and out of range. Let's go ambush. Finish this. Thank you. Okay. So now we've only got the one left. Invalid target. I don't know how to deal with this. If it's considering it an invalid target. It's the only target I've got. It says invalid target, but it lets me shoot. Okay. Didn't even get a turn that time. Ooh, nicely done. Still got a few. Let's not do you just yet. have the shot? You do? <laughs> nice. Let's find these movie reels. And we can head back to the bazaar and hand them in. Lethal Lance Creepy Doll. It's creepy, alright. There are the movie reels. Good stuff. I think that's it.
Gun guns sanctified with blood, blood I sanctified by I guns. Love you. Hey, Anilan. Ah, our clown slaying knights in shining armor. You honor us by visiting our little theater. Thank you. We got the mover reels from the bunker, but they look pretty damaged. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Damn, this looks pretty bad. Can you still use them? Where there's a will, there's a way. Just stand over there and look cute while I check this out. Okay. She holds the film rolls to the light, and I squeeze shut. Toke, tongue poking from the corner of her mouth. Hmm. What's the verdict? Well, I won't lie. They aren't exactly what I was hoping for. But we can salvage this. Good. So here's what I'm thinking. The film is falling apart, and I can't get a full show out of any of them. But I'm seeing bits and pieces that we could totally use with a bit of imagination. Okay. Let's examine the reels together, and we'll come up with a story worthy of chicks flicks. Here, look at these. Do you see a good main character? Huh, she holds some decaying film clips up to the light. Let's see, we've got one with a man running from a boulder. He has a hat and a whip. <laughs> Two cops, one older with a mustache, the other with a glorious mullet. And a barefoot man in a tank top sneaking through an office building. Was he wearing a tank top? A barefoot man in a tank... Oh! I w my mind went to the Matrix... And him sneaking in the beginning. That's clearly not that. This is a Die Hard reference. And I think that's our choice. Hmm. Maybe he tries to sneak through the shadows and he's spotted. But not by a guard. No. Plot twist! The person spotting him is his former lover. And their mm. passions rekindle instantly into lewd office sex. That was quick. That's a great setup, but we need to decide where it takes place. <laughs> Here, look over these reels. Okay. So we got a car racing down a road, lightning strikes, and the car accelerates to ludicrous speed. A wooden ship, a pirate ship, hidden in a cavern, holding treasure. Or a military flight academy. Let's go racing down the road, 88 miles per hour, please. Scene cuts inside the vehicle. Turns out lots of people are crammed in there. The lightning has energized not just the car, but also their sex drives. <laughs> and a spontaneous orgy erupts. Not bad. Not bad. I didn't come up with that. Now, for the pièce de résistance, no. my lovelies. Oui, oui. Some of these old reels still have semi-legible labels. Give it your best shot. Sex me up a title. Uh... <laughs> Fuck loose? Oh, yes, baby. That's perfect. Oh, I see you have some beauties of your own with you. What do you think? Could one of your gorgeous friends star in our premiere? Wouldn't be long. You'd probably get her I fame promise. up. Hmm. How long would you need him? Oh, just for a hot minute, darling. They'll be right back with you. Girl Scouts honor. Well, what about Alusha? Ugh, not in a million years. <laughs> Sounds right up your alley, Quan. Well, I've been a fan of your work for many years, Idolon. It would be an honor. Ooh. Oh, Marshal Quan, it'll be our pleasure. Just don't go stealing the spotlight from any of my boys, okay? A job well done, you. Okay, everyone. Places. Our audience awaits. What's that? A script? <laughs> Darling, we don't need those. You know, you haven't lived until you climbed aboard Barnes Nightstick. <laughs> Ladies, gents, that was everything a simple man could ever dream Guess we of. Did it. Thank you. Now, don't you think your 80 would forget your dues? You've been such a big help, Sugar Pies. Ooh, so bucks. here's your reward. 
Come talk to me later to see how we got on, okay? The new ornament. Let's fix this guy up. Equipment. Chassis. Stop. Deliver. Defender. Deliver is the higher one. Okay. Open. Order. We can do some armor plating now. There it is with that. There it is with. Ooh, look at that. Helmet speed down some, but that's fine. I guess I have one now. And then this requires a different AI module. Appearance, we got some new horn ornaments. That's fun, that's fun. Let's do it. We'll do the guitar since we just got it. Right. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. Uh oh. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, uh -oh. Team November, I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Hmm. Altercation? Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Okay. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Seems good. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in ships. Ah, how do we this fix that? Is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments. But today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. All right. But fortunately... The problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. Yeah. This wasn't the first one? There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. How many rangers do we have? <laughs> names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Okay. Yeah? Well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. That's for sure. Any suggestions? The warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. You're right. You're right. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Here's a decision. Shoot. Right, hold on one sec. When we make a deal, we stick to it. You can stay where you are. Rangers have a problem with that will be disciplined. Pretty likely. Uh, we won't go back on our deal, but justice had to be made. There's room in the brig. Move in here. I'm sorry, Dell. We have our mission to accomplish, and the needs of the rangers must come first. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of going back on the deal. Hmm. You, you, you're siding with us? Yep. Uh, uh, wow. If Thank there's room for cots choice. in other places, other people can move. It's fine. Honorable choice, Team November. But it won't lessen the friction. I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to pay for it later. Nice place they got here. Classy. Oh, Masato. There should always be room for a few more people at the dinner table. 
I'm glad you let the refugees stay. Me too. You miss the bazaar? No, not at all. There are so many wonderful people here who truly appreciate my cooking. They didn't actually chew before swallowing. Hmm. There are any rumors? There are a lot of people saying good things about the Rangers, but especially about November. Nice. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Uh, what's cooking? Only the best ingredients for my Rangers. <laughs> It's hard to bring Colorado together with a stomach full of bitter rations. What else we got? Scotchmo, what's up? Huh? Oh, who, who's that? <laughs> Hi, Scotchmo. Razors? What are you doing here? Well, I heard you was off in Colorado or, or somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. Well, welcome back. Wait, well, let's you think we're in Arizona? Cheers. Oh, good stuff. Is that you, Rangers? Boy, I ain't seen you at a donkey's age. <laughs> <laughs> this calls for a, a drink. Cheers. Hey, who drank my squeezes? What kind of a place is this? I hate to tell you this, but you're showing signs of late stage liver disease. <laughs> what do you know? I ain't had a liver for years. We're all in Colorado still. <laughs> you're, you're drunk. If we was in Colorado, there'd be snow all over the place, and you'd all be wearing porkas. Oh. You gotta cut back on the squeezes. Who are you? Come on, Rangers! You know me! It's Scotchmo! Your pal! I fought Cochise with you! Uh. I hope you beat all them damn robots! Great! Thank you. Oh no. That was a different team. <laughs> You can't fool me with that stuff. I know who you are. Well, you're welcome to stay. Have a drink. Well, don't mind if I do. Cheers! But I ain't here to drink, no. Nah. Okay. I'm here to sign up. I want to be a ranger again, just like before. Mm. I know you rangers have been going through hard times, so... I'm doing my patriotic duty and offering my services as a tired and, and true veteran. What do you say? Uh, welcome aboard, I guess. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Give me a gun. No, no, no. No guns. Meet me at the bad guys. I no, no, no. Ready? Lead on, Rangers. Oh, boy. Uh, cancel. We don't want you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Scotchmel. Ooh, a container. Businesses, you know. Not anymore, you don't. 
All right, let's head to Denver, check out the airport, and see what we can figure out from there. Oh, I can go up this way now. Distracted. A hidden structure. Fallen trees and rubble mostly obscure this collapsed bunker. You could get in if you're willing to crawl on your hands and knees. From the look of it, someone or something has been doing just that. Uh, let's look around. You spot numerous scratches on rocks and logs around the bump bunker. Uh, something, or many of the somethings, have been sharpening their talons. However, there are no fresh signs of activity. Let's fire a couple of warning shots. The gunshots echo through the night, bouncing from the trees, but little else can be heard. The bunker's small entrance remains still. If something does live there, it's out hunting. Let's investigate it. Crawling into it, you sign signs of animals nesting, including boxes torn apart for bedding. A few boxes in this bunker remain untouched. There are other rooms, but the doors are locked. Uh, let's pick the locks. Despite being behind locked doors, the elements have permeated this room. You pick through the containers for unspoiled goods and gather them up. Nice. Some leg warmers, some more sludge. As you exit, you find that firing your guns drew the attention of the den's animals and inhabitants, and it appears they came back to investigate, surrounding you in the process. They charge. Ooh boy. It is battle time. Look at all those drools. This is not the best way to begin an engagement. Oh, these are drools, right? Ooh, I'm still gaining items from what I found. I like that. Okay. Ooh, when I have my vehicle here. Hey there, vehicle. Alright. I do want you to come through here. And take these two out, please. No pick? Yeah, okay, my team moved. <laughs> That's good. Nicely done. Go full cover. I think maybe. I don't know why that's all dark. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll sweep around the left side while at the same time continuing to run them over from the right side. There's some good shots. You're already in half cover, that's good. Ooh, out of range. So on the one hand, I would like to take at least one shot and then go into ambush. But on the other hand, they'll probably come over here. Out of ammo. Not a good time for this dock. <laughs> Thrower also out of ammo. Reload. Nice. Dude, that thing covers such a large area. Huh. That's interesting, but I don't think we want to do it yet. Okay, can you get there and hit? Out of range. So maybe we just have you use a pistol then. What do we think here? We have cover. They're full. Actually, it's full because there's two barrels there. Nice. Oh. And ambush. Alright, you should be able to take the shot. Nice. Good job, Marshall. Lucia? Can't quite take the shot. Let's go here. Good one. Ooh, got another action? Awesome. Well, now if 
feel more confident about this. Let's get on over here and take it out. Hydral. Enemy turn. Here we come. Hmm. I actually feel like... How far can you go this turn? You can go all the way over here, huh? I mean, I'd be crazy not to. Boom! Good driving. Decision strike on you, you drool. Take the head shot. Nice. Take a regular shot. Alright. Chris. Fire. Fire again. Doc. Oh, <laughs> because we got the flamethrower equipped. Um, you know, Doc. We got go one more up here. And those two. Let's just go here. And put you on ambush. So when they move, now it'll be an issue. Yo, what up, Zemo? Sweet! That sounds great, dude. When is that class? And are you still gonna do the um, grappling tomorrow? Oh, sure. I actually haven't played any Among Us. Although I just found out uh, it's free on mobile. I thought it was a PC only game. Good one. There you go. Too far, huh? How about now? So it's just two left. Oh, yeah, yeah, stand near each other. Good job with the flames. I don't know what you're doing. What? Oh, this person's helping me? I had no idea. Awaiting orders. Right, right. I could just run them both over. Let's do it. <laughs> Another combat complete. Back out to Colorado. We're heading up to the Denver airport. See if we can steal something from some robots. We got friendlies. Whoa! Welcome to our commune, Desert Rangers. We've heard so many stories about you and your famously violent exploits. Come in. Our home is your home. Thank you, Greedo. Uh, what's going on Do here? Do not be afraid, humans. We are a communal society of machine intelligentsia committed to the well-being of all. Hmm. We wish you no harm. That sounds to lovely. Put it in human terms, we just want to, like, chill and have a good time. Is cool. that cool with you? Totally cool with me. But we're also looking for the cybernetic transfer module. Then you should talk to the machine intelligence tower. It's a little bit northeast of here. Okay. We don't really have a leader, but for human purposes, you can consider them our leader. The machine intelligence tower is currently parsing data, but it'll call you when it's ready to talk. Until then, feel free to hang out and chat <laughs> with members of the commune. We're all friends here. Uh, what do you think of the Gippers? They don't like us, but they worship one of us. It's quite confusing. But so are a lot of things humans do. If only we had some way to bridge that gap of understanding. Mm, we'll see you later. Not if I see you first. <laughs> humans. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally, I am not going back to the back of the shuttle, Logrito. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, heading into the shuttle. Got an electronics panel. Hi, there. hi, Sal. Well, hi there. Glad to see you in person and not, you know, via the radio waves bouncing off of you. I'm Sal, as you might have guessed. The voice of Free Colorado. Afraid I don't do autographs. Not because I don't want to, but, you know, no hands. I've Good been point. listening to you my whole life. But you don't look anything like I imagined. I'll bet you hear that all the time. <laughs> you have no idea. Are you in charge? Me? No, I can barely manage my own broadcast schedule. Ah, okay. Put me in space, and I'm a right genius. But down here, I'm just me. How do we get you back to space? So, I gotta ask, what do you think of my radio broadcasts? Ah. I don't often get the opportunity to hear direct feedback. Well... Let's just say we love it. Fantastic. I'll keep on keeping on. Great, Sal. Well, I'm sure you've got places to be and people to query. Head on in. My friends in the commune would love to meet you. Sounds Have a, a great one. Too happy about it. This place is fascinating. Skipping around, having a good time. Oh, wow. Brother in chains. I don't understand any of this. I'm in Colorado. I have a feeling I'd know more of this if I've ever been to the Colorado or the Denver airport. <laughs> oh, you're a synth. You're easy enough. They're fantastic. Nice work. So you talk with a very specific synth sound. Hmm. How did you come up with these? Ooh, fancy. Hmm. We get the blue root and the red root. Let's go red. If it is getting too loud over here. One sec. Keep going. <laughs> Personal space invaders. There are no visible controls. Hey, Pico. Uh, uh, one sec. Just thought of something. Okay. The slicer dicer turns and whistles softly to a hologram several feet away. The hologram flails its arms in a pantomime of rage. Okay, okay, sorry. My name's Pico. I'm working on something. A game. A simulation, really. It'll teach the Congo to fight. Fight. Mm, why do you need to learn to fight? Because of... We don't know how. And a bunch of us have disappeared, you know. Out there, it's dangerous. His gaze drops to the floor. I wanted to make a realistic simulation. A dangerous battle that prepares us for the real thing. We can't keep pretending that the world will leave us alone. How does it work, anyway? Uh, I was thinking of a combat scenario against holograms. Human holograms. They would shout at you and try to kill you. You would have to kill them first, or the game is over. At the moment, it's not really working. Hmm. At least, I can't ever get the robot to win. That's probably good for us. <laughs> Are these hard light holograms? Yes, um, with hard light weaponry, it's more realistic. Once I can get that working, I mean. Okay. Would you like us to help you? Oh, yes. Getting data from a real human would be wonderful. Historically, at least some robots have been able to harm humans. 
So I must be doing something wrong in the simulation. <laughs> um, thank you. The game runs on those terminals by law. We can begin whenever you're ready. Okay. This box is sufficient. But I would hologram, really hologram. Like a Scorpatron chest. Oh wait. What? Let's try the yellow one. The Vice Spacem 64. Please log into console one to begin the game. <laughs> okay. You love will burn. Begin game. Waiting for player two to connect. Is that you, buddy? Good job. Wait. My hologram strategy. Precision blast. I think I'll Talk it out. Uh oh. <laughs> They've been locked in. Round one complete. Player one wins. <laughs> Next round. Alright, what's a strategy? Let's talk it out. The optimal strategy in this situation. Well, I'm sure they can be reasoned with. I choose. Talk it out. Okay. Ready, set, tie. Round two repeats. Oh. You're just gonna keep doing that, huh? Alright, rush attack. I know I should be more aggressive. Well, maybe I can catch them off guard. Oh. They won't be expecting me to. Yeah? Talk it out. No, not talk it out. Strategy's locked in. Player one wins. Okay, but how about a sneaky strike? Don't you do it. Talk it out. No. Human wins. You stink, dude. So, I guess you can see the problem with my simulation. Yeah, the problem is that you keep picking the wrong thing. We could modify you to feel less compassionate for people, then you wouldn't have any qualms about hurting them. Maybe we should play as a robot. It would be hard to set up, and functionally, the strategies are the same. I don't think it would help much. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. No? We should play it again just to be okay. sure. Let's play. Oh, you are going to go back over there, aren't you? Do I have to be player one? Darn. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. General Grievous. What's a tutorial say? Oh. Rock, paper, scissors. But they always choose option D. Talk it out. <laughs> the optimal strategy in this situation. Well, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next round. Rush I'll attack. Next out. round. Rush attack. Next round. Talk it out. All right. Well, you're not doing much there, Pico. Sit in here. Can I? Oh yes. Please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous things out there. Ooh, dangerous things. I like that. Oh my. Computer. Warning. Humans in this area have expressed a desire to remain apart from machine time. Okay. Hmm. Time Let's head into through the other terminal. What is this? Oh, it's supposed to be like up on the ceiling. <laughs> Ooh, a healing place. Interesting specimen. Hmm. What do I do? I need to ask about healing and repair. It observes me quietly. It's camera eyes panning up and down your body. Excuse me? Are you in need of repairs or enhancements? Repairs to dermal, muscle, and organ tissue are hmm. available. I also offer supplies that facilitate personal maintenance. I have amassed 15.2883 terabytes of data detailing my work on organic and synthetic life forms. 
it would be possible to create several statistical models and produce a diagnostic report. However, it will take considerable processing resources, and I am currently without my assistant, Vicky. It is a fragment of my consciousness, copied into a simpler mm. robot, and does many useful tasks for me. I sent Vicky to secure samples of some long dead humans who once camped in the disused hangar Anger behind, behind the commune. Yeah. It should okay. take a similar amount of time for you to find and return it to its station, as for me to prepare the report. Why do people camp in the hangar when it's warm inside here? They were invited inside numerous times, oh. but seemed wary of synthetic beings. <laughs> Perhaps they had sustained past traumas involving robots. Let's see if we have time. The hangar is accessed through the western exit from the airport. Ah. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We will keep exploring this terminal next time.